What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media One, and today we're going to do another unboxing tech review. Today we have the Kindle Oasis. This Kindle is supposed to be the best of the best. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to check it out that way. Then we're going to go over to the tech specs. We're going to check it all out, what it's capable of, and then at the very end, I'm going to show you guys turn it on see what it can do so let's get started Okay guys, here we are, Kindle Oasis unboxing, let's check it out. So it just comes in a regular Amazon box, this time it comes in this clear plastic film. We just have the regular box here, front and back, it does have this laminate coating on the front which is kind of cool. We got there with the graphite, this is the graphite color here, there's a strip on the back. We are just going to pull this strip. And when we pull the strip, we see that there's a little flap here. We pull the flap, and out comes the Kindle. Nothing else inside the box. There's this cool little tree here, kind of typical of the Kindle logo. And it just slides out the side like this. It's a tiny little guy. A little bit of reading material. How to plug it in. Clear plastic cover here. We just kind of pry it right off. There's a little flap. Pull it out there. There it is. The Kindle Oasis. It's got a great feel to it. It's got a aluminum feel on the back almost like a glass slash plastic feel on the front more plasticky I guess and there's two buttons here it says the power on button is up top so we got this button here we just hit that and let's see underneath here we have the cable to charge micro USB And that's it. Kind of a cool little housing. Oh, there's something else in here. And maybe not. It does have this little flap on the inside that kind of made me think that there was something else inside there, but there isn't. That's it. Nice cable. Very flexible. Feels good. Does not feel cheap at all. And we're going to go over some tech specs with you, let you know what this thing is capable of, and then we're going to take a look at the Kindle, show you what it looks like in action. Okay guys, we are back with the tech specs for you. Basically, we're just going right off of uh, Amazon's website here. You can get the ad supported option, which is also known as the special offers or lock screen ads. It displays sponsored screensavers on your device's lock screen basically when you're not using it so it's not that big of a deal it does save you a few bucks you also have the option here to go with 8 gig or 32 gig for the storage capacity this is pretty massive if we're just talking about books this device that I opted for is only 8 gigs which will hold plenty of books so if you go with the 8 gig option and you go with ad supported you're looking at $249.99. If you trade in your Kindle, you can save 20% if you go this route. They're saying that this is the best 7 inch, 300 ppi flush front paper white display, period. It has adjustable warm light to shift the screen from white to amber, 
which gives you that more warm tone to read from. It is waterproof. It's IPX8, so you can read by the bath or by the pool. It's been tested to withstand accidental water immersion. We have not sunk this in water yet, but we will, so stay tuned for the next video for that. It's thin, super light, ergonomic, and it's got great page turn buttons. That is one of my favorite features because I have another paper white and I do not like having to flip across the screen. It just does not feel good to turn the pages. Um, it also reads like real paper because it uses e-ink technology and it's supposed to refresh super fast. So you don't have that little bit of lag that normally happens when you're reading on e-ink displays that are a little bit less quality. You have instant access to millions of books, newspapers, audiobooks. It works with Audible, which is super cool. So you can pair it with Bluetooth headphones or speakers to switch seamlessly between reading and listening. If you're the type of person that would rather listen sometimes, you do have that option. This was an option in earlier Kindles as like experimental, but they're actually bringing it to this Kindle. Okay guys, now that we went over the tech specs, we're gonna let you have a look at what the Kindle looks like, the best that we can possibly show you. Now this thing has over 17,000 four and a half star reviews on Amazon's website. So it's supposed to be basically the best e-reader out there. And Amazon is no slouch making their Kindles one of the best. I mean, these things are super nice, lightweight. The greatest part about them is the battery life just lasts forever. I can almost go an entire month on an e-ink reader without charging it. And that's just awesome. Plus, it keeps you away from other distractions. If you think about an iPad or an iPhone when you're reading, you have text messages popping up, notifications. This thing eliminates that. You ain't going to get any of that. You're just there with your book. You can read and not have to worry about any distractions. So here it is. I don't know how well you can see this. Try to get you a good shot. But it is the ink. It's super nice. It does have a touch display. So we're just going to touch English to get started. And then it's going to prepare the device. Um, you can adjust the brightness and the warmth and all that good stuff. Which is super cool. Depending on how you like to read. I don't like um, dark mode. I know that's not the popular opinion. But I know that there's a lot of people that really love dark mode. In this case, I'll just have to see how that amber display works out for me. But I do really enjoy reading without distractions. So this thing's going to be awesome. The fact that I can take it to the pool. Not have to worry about anything as far as it getting wet. Super cool. So it's just taking a minute to load up here. And they're claiming that the battery lasts weeks, not hours. 100% true. The all, also, the greatest thing is that you can hold thousands of books on this thing. Even with the 8 gig option, it's not going to be an issue whatsoever. So it does give you the option to connect to Wi-Fi. If you decide not to connect to Wi-Fi, it will let you set up the Kindle later. So we can do that, yes. And then it does pop up with some different books and things in here. Your library would be displayed if you logged into Kindle. You got a home button, a back button, there's your settings button. It lets you adjust the brightness here. So you can turn it up or down. The warmth. Up or down. And that's about it. Um, the best part, like I said, is these buttons for me because if you're reading with one hand and you want to flip a page you just click the button and you don't have to smudge your display or anything like that you're using these buttons in order to flip your pages which is super nice um, the back just has this little bit of a, a divot here or a bezel and that's probably where all the battery is housed in this area in order to keep the display itself super thin but it feels great they weighted this thing perfectly you can hold it with one hand without any issues it is not heavy at all 
and it just feels really good guys so I would say definitely give this a look if you're an avid reader even if you're somebody who doesn't really love ebooks this gives you a second or an alternate option I know a lot of people will finish a book and wish they had another one and this is just a great option to have other than that guys hope you enjoyed the review if you did like it subscribe so that you can check out our next video when we dunk this thing see how long it can last underwater have a great day